Hi there, how you doing? This is Ben Stubbs of the Flamenco For You podcast. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to play El Vito in the Palo of Peteneres. Let's go. We're going to divide this song in 12 parts. And the first one we'll call the Peteneres theme. This is going to be bars through 1 through 18, which you can get in your tab in patreon.com forward slash flamenco for you. So the first bar starts off with a hammer on from E to E F sharp to G sharp. Then A on the second bar, down A minor, and then E. Now we're in the E7 shape. And so what it was that, that was up, down, up, down with the index finger. And on the left hand fretting fingers, we're having a, a D note there with the fourth finger, two times, and then D flat, and then all fingers off there. We've just got second and first finger there to play the E7. Next, we've got an A minor arpeggio, P, P, I, M, A, M, I, P. Okay, this was C. And then we do the arpeggio again, I, M, A, M, I, and our B note with a thumb. And then C, pull off to G. Okay, that was bars four and five once again. Now we've got another arpeggio. This time we have P, I, M, A, and then A drags down to the second string, sorry, the fifth string, and a hammer on pull off. So that's like this. This is bar six. And then next, bar seven, we decline or descend from G. We've got a golpe there. C. Once again. Okay, that was bar eight and nine, bars eight and nine. And that's another arpeggio. Moving on to bar 10. And then a hammer on. Back again, A minor. Now bar 13. This is a little bit different. Arpeggio downward from A, M, I, B, C. And then pull off from C to B, A, G, F. This is a pedal, this is P and I. Another arpeggio, I am A. downward thumb with a golpe on the A finger. Moving on to bar 19. Now here is what we call the El Vito theme. This is part number two through bars number 19 through 26. So we have four notes of E in 19, another one in 20, and then 7, 8, 10, 7. Okay, 7, 8, now we're in bar 21. So once again, bar 19 through 21. And then 22. And then bar 23. 25. 26. All right. Now in bar 27, we're in part 3, which is called E major, A minor, D minor, run on falsetta. This runs on till bar 31. Okay, so we got pedal there, and M finger plays this E note. Okay, let's break that down. Once again, pedal on bar 27, E. Alternating playing fingers. Now we're in bar 29. And that part, number three, repeats again, bars 27 through 30. Now that brings us to part four, which is the E major, A minor, raqueado. This is bars 32 through 40. So bar 32. So this is up I, down A, down I, up I, down I, and then up I, and then down I on bar 33 with a golpe. 
Once again, 32 and 33. And of course, 32 starts with a golpe. Now into part five. This is bars 41 through 45. And we have E major, F7 major, flat five, C. And I'll show you what that is. Now all that is is just a, an E major that just shifts up. And that's it. Okay, so we've got 41, golpe, with the A finger. And then the same raqueo that you did before, up I, down A, and I, and you repeat that cycle. And then the F major uh, seven, flat five, C, and then same pattern. And then again, down to 43, and then 44, and then 45. So let's do that part again. This is part five, bars 41 through 45. Now once again, on that first note of each bar, all I'm doing is a ghost note and a golpe. So we have, and as soon as I shift up, I do a golpe right there. As soon as the left hand fretting fingers shift up, <laughs> then I do a, a golpe there. That's 45. Now part six, this is parte dulce. These are bars 46 through 65. So on bar 46, we've got two tender dulce notes on the third string on the ninth fret with the first, first finger. Pedal here on E and E. Okay, we've got a bar chord here and that's on the uh, ninth fret. Now we're on bar 51. Okay, bar 53. And then we play two E notes for 55. And we're gonna jump back to repeat to where we started off with on bar 47. Bar 51. All right, and that was the second ending there. And that brings us to bar 57. So we have the remnants of that chord before the E major 7, and then we've got E major. Now we're on bar, uh, sorry, 61, 5, 7. That brings us to E major. And then we do again on bar 66, same kind of pattern, arpeggio. And this time, this is where the tremolo comes in. So now we're in part um, seven, bar 66 through 75. This is the tremolo. Now at bar 67, we have the tremolo and the flamenco tremolo is different than the classical tremolo. If you've been exposed to that, classical tremolo just uses the three fingers, AMI. And then flamenco interjects the index right at the beginning. A little bit slower, so we have P, I, A, M, I, and then our thumb, and then again I, A, M, I. So 67, E major, 68, 69, we shift it up half a step, 70, 71, now we still have D, 72. We just had this pinky finger, the fourth finger, on eight, and then down to uh, seven. And then we're on bar 73, 74. Now we repeat, we are going back to bar 69. Then bar 76, our page again. Bar 78 and 79, 80, now we're at bar 82, so this part we're in the um, parte dulce, second half, this is bar 76 through 83, once again we're at 79. Now 
That brings us to part 10, which is bars 90 through 96. We have our E major, and then our hammer-on from E to G sharp. That brings us to 96. Now we've reached Petanera's theme. This is part 11, bars 96, uh, to the end. Familiar A minor, E7, uh, arpeggio. G7 there, and then our descending, F5, once again we've got uh, our hammer on from uh, 105 to 106, A minor, and then E7, pedal, number 113. Okay, now we're going to come back again to the El Vito theme, bar 114. All right, good. So now we were coming back to the run-on part on bar 123, uh, end of 122 to 123. 26 and something a little bit different here on bar 128 and 129 we're going to do E7 like that let's go back to 128 and then immediately G sharp and then F E F Or rather, on 133, uh, just end it with a... And just let it ring. So we've got a golpe here. If you've seen another video that I've done uh, previous to this one, we went over this golpe, which is done with the, the M finger. And we wind it up here, we kind of flick it out from this padded part of our palm. And we hit this part of the row set. Make sure you have a golpeador. And then drag down all the strings with that uh, middle finger. So it's two movements, one and two. Let's scoot back again to 126 to play again that E7 run on falsetta to the remate. Once again, use the M finger to play that uh, E note. Now 129, immediately go into the G7, uh, not the G7 rather, the G sharp. And then F. And those are all the pieces, that's it. So let's go ahead and play it through and see how it sounds. Peteneras, El Vito.
For more information and to receive free materials, news updates, and more, subscribe to Ben's newsletter at flamencoforyou.com.